I'm James Cross, President and Chief Executive Officer of ePower Resources. We're listed on the CSE under the symbol EPR. All right, well, originally I come from the asset management business, but that goes back about uh, 15 years now. Um, really got into the, the resources game by accident. A friend of mine was chairman of a Canadian junior and took out some um, interesting looking maps with colors all over them and told a pretty good story and said, can you help me raise some money for this? And uh, we went out and we actually raised some money for it. And uh, in order to do that, we had put together a investor friendly presentation. And then he said, well, as you're already doing the job, why don't you join the board of the company and join as VP of corporate development? So I did and uh, got addicted to the business right away. We started with ePower Resources back in late 2018. And it came from uh, my, my business partner really and investors who follow uh, his deals and, and work with him on investing in a lot of resources deals and, and other types of deals as well. But one of the questions some of the investors had was, what can we do in the resources space around electric vehicles? So we set about looking at all the material components of electric vehicle batteries to determine which, if any, of the material components of a battery would be most likely to face a supply crisis soonest. And graphite was the conclusion we came to. So we ran the company really from, you know, we, we raised the money, I guess, in early 2019 and ran it as a private exploration and development company funded entirely by investors from Europe um, until January of 2023. And uh, at that point, we listed the company on the CSE. The reason we got into graphite was it looked as though there's a supply crisis developing in it, largely but not entirely because of the electric vehicle business. And graphite isn't like all other minerals. And, you know, we often talk about commodities in the resources space like gold and silver. Gold and silver, it's just gold or silver. Um, graphite is a little bit different, being not technically a commodity, all graphite is not necessarily created equal. The biggest differentiating factor is flake size in graphite. So there are two types of graphite, amorphous graphite and flake graphite. Now amorphous graphite, if you pick it up, it feels like an oily powder. It's like a lubricant. Uh, flake graphite has much more the character of a rock and if you look closely at it, you'll see it looks a bit like a pile of Frisbees. And generally in graphite, the better the flake size or larger the flake size, the more you get for the graphite. Our flagship property is called Tedapisca. It sits about a three and a half hour drive north of Bay Como, Quebec. What drew us to the property originally was um, some friends in the minerals exploration space knew of some prospectors looking to sell some mineral claims around a nice graphite showing. And we had a look at it and decided to buy it back in 2019. And since then, we've expanded the property through staking. So at the moment, we have something like uh, 265 claims uh, for about 12,300 hectares. So it is a sizable property and could even represent more than just one single graphite deposit. Yeah, why would people buy ePower Resources? If you look at the North American graphite space upstream, there are only about 10 notable projects of any significant size that could really help to fuel uh, all the manufacturing capacity required that requiring graphite. And it's estimated that in 10 years, the world is gonna need four times the amount of graphite production it has today. North America's got 10 projects that could really make any kind of dent in that. And ePower has one of those, Ted Episca. So why would you buy it? We, the answer is we know the industrial players probably need 40 graphite projects like this rather than 10. So they're going to own uh, these properties and, ne and need to really secure them while the graphite still sits in the ground. So. If you're buying shares of ePower as a retail or institutional investor, 
you are essentially front running the manufacturer who is essentially, or, or we know they're gonna have to own it pretty soon in order to fuel all the manufacturing capacity they're erecting for billions of dollars. Graphite is the single largest material component of an electric vehicle battery or a battery in general. It forms nearly the entire anode side of the battery. On the cathode side of the battery, you have the metals and the metals change all the time. When somebody comes out with a new battery, it'll be X percent this metal and that metal and those metals move around all the time. But with graphite, it's a constant. The anode side is always made of graphite. So there are lots of uses of graphite. It's not just all about electric vehicles, um, but about any, really anything requiring power. And that's a big deal today. Well, if you made it this far, you must be a real fan. So you better smash that like button, let us know what you think down below. And if you're not subscribed already, do that and turn on that little notification bell so you don't miss a single one of our videos. While you're at it, check out the last one. It was a real good one. And until next time, see ya.